solution for the Canon EOS R5 and R6, you know, overheating. I mean, before we get into the video, I want to give away this mini tripod that I put together. They are very strong, very good, with a fluid head. To enter, just like this video and also subscribe to my channel. And I will announce the winner on 30th of August. Whatever you are, I can ship it for you. I, I knew someone gonna come up with a solution. There's so much smart people, a smart company out there that, you know, the EOS R5 and R6 is not gonna be just in a limbo. We're not gonna be able kind of to take advantage of that. And yes, I reached 21 subscribers by the time that I was recording this video. Thank you for all the people that subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate your support. Thank you very much. And if you're new, you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. And thank you for the support. And like this video too. <laughs> thank you. Okay, so let's get back to the video. If you have been following news camera lately, you know about the EOS R5 and R6 overheating. Canon ambassadors and also enthusiasts that use the camera so far all spoke about, about it. And for some of them, you know, they said, I mean, basically, if you think about video shooting with the EOS R5 or R6, even don't think about it. that is no camera for videographer. But others said, you know, they didn't have any issue about, about it. And also, I think, you know, um, Gerald Andan, he, he done a, a video. I think he kind of put the EOS R5 into his space. And he said that when recording with external, externally recording, externally with the Ninja, he could record for about 70 minutes or more without overheating. So, I mean, that is great news. But even the better news is that this company, Tilta, come up with a solution. is a fan that you can attach to the back of the camera where the screen tilt open. You attach there, and according to them, that will cool down the camera to a certain degree. Yeah, so basically what they're saying is that, you know, this fan have a maximum cooling of 82 Fahrenheit or 28 degrees Celsius. I mean, that's fantastic. And also they say that, you know, this one can cool the camera 15 degrees Celsius or 59 Fahrenheit in a matter of a minute. Well, I mean, that is great news. But I have my doubt on that. As an engineer, I mean, my engineer background, and also the fact that the, the EOS R5 and R6 is really very well weather sealed. What that means is that no splash, no dust, including air, is not getting inside the camera easily. But attaching that the fan just in the back of the camera, is it, is it possible for the air to get inside? Because the problem with the overheating is that the heat build inside the camera because it hasn't got any area, any hold kind of to dissipate out of the camera. That's why it's built inside. And when it's built at a certain level, the camera tries to shut down, not to allow more of the overheating so they destroy the sensor, destroy the internal of the camera. That's why the camera is shutting down because it's not getting, the heat is not getting outside the camera. And just putting out there, I think it will speed up a little bit the, um, the, the cooling down of the body from the external body of the camera, but I don't think that it will be as efficient as we wish. Just check this video from Cinema so 5. So imagine you're on the set, imagine you're filming, it doesn't matter if you're vlogging, doing documentary, doing a, a bit of a higher end production, doesn't matter what. At the end of the day, day you will feel stuck. I also tried to move from 4K to Full HD. Sometimes it worked and I, and I could uh, record a little bit longer, but in most cases it was completely done. And it's a sealed body. And I tell you, I tried with Vent and I tried with Ice Cube, which is of course a bit funny. And what do, what, what, what do you tell your client here? Yeah? So I have to put an Ice Cube on the camera. So, and it didn't work. It didn't work in the sense that it didn't bring the temperature down fast enough uh, to the point that I can continue recording and filming. I mean, look at it. 
He did try everything possible for the EOS R6 to cool down. But he, according to him, he wasn't successful, you know, as such. But another solution is coming from Canon itself. And Canon has a, this pattern, the designing an adapter. And in that adapter, there is a fan. And this adapter, you attach to your lens and you mount the lens into the camera. But the good thing with this is that the adapter is attached to the camera so then the air can be blown inside the camera and straight away to the sensor because the sensor is close to the lens so that the air can cool down the sensor first and then get inside inside the inside the camera such and i see um, logically that's more efficient and effective than just attach it at the back at you know the thing that we will find that w what what do you think do you think is the solution from the tilt that just attaching the back will be more efficient or the Canon one will be more efficient? Let me know in the comment box below. But I believe that because the, the heat is building within the camera, attaching that in the, close to the sensor, then will allow the air to get inside the camera and help the heat dissipate. Because I think cooler air against hot air much together and the temperature will be reduced and the solution from the canon probably will be the best for me but i'm just waiting but yes today uh, yeah today is 27 so i already put my pre-order and they say that hopefully they will be shipping by the end of this month it's mean that by this uh, by this week and i'm really looking forward for that but canon say that the pre-order exceed the expectation. There may be delay. And I hope that there's not going to be any delay. Finger crossed. But as soon as I get my EOS R5, I'm going to try everything possible to see which way or best way can I, I'll be able to cool that. And if I get Tilta, you know, fun, I'm going to try it too. And I'm going to wait for the Canon solution as well to see where that I will be able to cool the camera down so subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed yet so you can see all those videos that i'll be finding a solution to cool it down and one thing also that i was really interested to understand why people want the eos r5 so i run a poll in my twitter account and if you're on twitter just follow me here's my handle yeah so the question was simple what do you want to use the eos r5 for still or video and 95.5 say still is only 4.5 say video. So basically everyone wanna use that EOS R5 for still. And for that, you don't have much of the overheating problem. The overheating happen much of the time is when you're shooting video. But for me personally, I want the camera for video. That's my primary use of it. And finding a solution for the overheating is the great news for me. Uh, you cannot be how relieved I am. But I know that that is a great steel camera too. So I have two in one. Oh, just wonderful. So what about you? Is it still or video? Let me know in the comment box below. Thank for your support so far. I reached 20 subscri 21 subscribers by the time when this video was, was recorded. Thank you for your support. Thank you for everybody that subscribed to me. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe right now. Yeah, And also like this video that support my channel thank you very much and i'm looking forward to see you in my next video god bless you and akuna matata